Welcome to the 26th tutorial on beginning CSS. In this video, we're going to talk about the div HTML element. And we've kind of been using that, but we're going to expand upon it in this video. Now, the div is an HTML element, as I said, but the reason I did not introduce it in my beginning HTML series is that it is pretty much used hand in hand with CSS. So it makes sense to talk about it in the CSS series. Now, the div element is used to divide your web page into logical sections. And so this deals with the web page layout. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you have a menu. That could be a section. Uh, you might have a group of related images. That could be a logical section. You might even have part of a blog with text. That could be a logical section. It's really a way of dividing up your web page into areas that perform a particular function. So uh, let's open up our website. Uh, but before we do that, actually, let's take a look at the uh, HTML code here for a second. Let's do a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, let's move the class and put it into our IMG element. And we'll just remove that. And this should make no difference, OK? Instead of using it in the div tag, we're putting it in the image element itself. And then let's go ahead and save this. And then let's uh, let's go back into our style sheet, and we're going to go down here, and we're going to type in img dot, and then we're going to put in here text hyphen align hyphen center semicolon. Now I will explain why I'm doing this in a few videos, but for now, don't worry about any of this. I will explain this in a few videos. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's open up our web page in Google Chrome and everything looks good as it has been. Now we want to divide up our web page into two logical sections. That's what we've got here. We've got one section that kind of is our main section, right? It has our first heading to say that this is our fish website and then we have this sentence here to kind of say what it's about and then we have our opening picture. Now we can identify this as a new section that deals with bass fish. So we have two sections. And so we want to create a div element for all of this and a div element for all of this. So let's close this out and let's close out our style sheet. And then let's go into our HTML code and we can just go ahead and copy and paste some div tags here. So we'll put a div tag right here and we'll put a closing div tag right here. Now this now this becomes a nested div tags and you can nest div tags within div tags. So there's actually sections within sections. But don't worry about that right now. Let's just concentrate on the main section that we're going to be doing here. And then let's um let's actually put a space here. And let's go ahead and put a div tag around our other section which is on bass fish and we'll close it out down here. And there we go. And if we save this and reopen our website, you'll see that nothing's really changed. And that's the first point I want to make about a div tag. They don't really do anything by themselves. They just identify a particular section, like I said. So they're kind of transparent, if you want to think of it like that. So now what we want to do is give this a ID attribute because these are going to be unique. So we'll do a, we'll copy and paste this. We can just take this ID. We'll come up here and let's give this an ID of main and we'll call this actually div main. And then we'll take this same one and we'll go down to our bass section and we'll call this div bass and let's save this. And then let's, uh, let's go back into our style sheet and let's create some rules. Now we'll just take these rules and let's go ahead and and what we're going to do is we'll say pound div main. And all we're going to do is set the text in here. And then that's all we're going to do as black. And then we'll create a div tag for our bass section. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep the color of the text black. Let's save this now. And then let's go ahead and open up our web page. And you'll see we've got black text. But you'll notice now that our headers are in black. And that is because they are inheriting the color black. We are actually, if you take a look at this, that we didn't have anything in our headers. We didn't set a font color. 
And so it's going to inherit that from our div because that's what we set it. We set it right here. The reason the first paragraph didn't, if we open this back up, this first paragraph still isn't blue. And the reason is because we specified blue. So this was an override. We talked about that in earlier videos. We overrided what we had in our div class. So that stays the same. Now, of course, we're actually overriding the color green, right? That's what was setting those headers to green because we put that property in the body element. So they, these H1 and H2 headers were inheriting that. Now, if we want that back, that's pretty simple. We'll just specify the color green in our two headers. Let's save this. Let's open it up. And now the headers are back to green, but our text remains in black. And this is why divs can actually be useful. They not only organize the sections of your website, you can also use them for inheritance, kind of the way we were using the body element. So now, um, you know, we don't have to put black in these paragraphs. We can actually take these out and they will inherit it. So if we remove these, the font color should still remain black. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll open this up and you can see it remains black because it's inheriting it from our two divs. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.